And today, I'm ending my campaign for president. But I will never stop believing that America can only move forward when we work together. The trivia answer is 164 days. Former Governor John Hickenlooper's presidential campaign lasted 164 days. Our Marshall Zellinger was up at 4.30 in the morning to break the news back on March 4th. Today he is breaking down what Hickenlooper has said about running for Senate, which I guess could be another 4.30 a.m. announcement. I've heard from so many Coloradans who want me to run for the United States Senate. They remind me how much is at stake for our country and our state. I intend to give that some serious thought. Hang on. Serious thought? It's not like former mayor, former governor, and now former presidential candidate John Hickenlooper hasn't had time to think about possibly being future Senator Hickenlooper, seeing as it was one of the most popular questions during his presidential campaign, like Saturday on CNN. As soon as I start talking about Senate or some other possibility, not only do I get distracted, but my, my team gets distracted. I don't rule anything out, but I, I don't. Right now, I'm not even thinking about it. I mean, literally right. not thinking about it. Eight days before that interview on PBS's firing line, he talked about why putting teams together as an executive appeals to him. That's when I feel alive. That's where I feel I add the most value. I feel like that's my calling. A July 17th tweet by a CBS News reporter in Iowa documented a voter's question to Hickenlooper about why he's not challenging Senator Cory Gardner. I don't think they need me, Hickenlooper is quoted, and I do believe I will do a better job at beating Donald Trump. And all the way back in February, when we were following Hickenlooper's campaign in Iowa before he officially announced his candidacy, he was quoted in Politico with this headline, I'm not cut out to be a senator. Senators don't build teams. Senators sit and debate in small groups. I'm a doer. As with all politicians, Hickenlooper has left himself what I'll call a squishy area. I don't believe, and I'm sure if it exists, I'll hear about it on Twitter in a minute, I don't believe Hickenlooper has ever flat out said no, he's not going to run for Senate. But he's got a lot of walking back to do. And if he wants to run for Senate, his possible websites have already been saved. <laughs> a PR guy who has done work previously with Hickenlooper has already saved Hick, the number four, Senate.com. Hick and Looper, number four, Senate.com. <laughs> Hick and Looper for Senate with the word for and Hick for Senate also spelled out. I feel like this is the movie Big. Sometimes she writes the hyphen, sometimes she spells the hyphen. Curtis Hubbard bought these domain names but has not talked with Hick and Looper since January. I asked Hubbard if he's heard from other current Democratic Senate candidates to, you know, back off. I have not. Uh, and I have, I have tremendous respect for many of them. I think that they would all acknowledge that John Hickenlooper were he to get in the race would be a uh, presumptive uh, and formative front runner. Would the other candidates say that? I know, Steve, you're about to get into that in a minute, but for the time being, there's going to be a lot of crow eating, I, I feel, and walking mm -hmm. back if Hickenlooper does want to enter the Senate race, because that's going to be, I can already see the political ads, the dramatic music, and all the things we just showed you as to he didn't want to run for Senate, Senate's not good enough for him, and that'll be the negative political. I'm just ads. curious if you could take the old president stuff and just dub the word Senate, I'm running for <laughs> Senate, over it. If that not, would save some know, money. We'll do, we'll do that if he doesn't. That would save some money. It's a good way to do it. Marshall Zellinger, thank you.